welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays I'm exploring the Vision Jet and in this regard I'm making a series of videos for the beginners so that I can just break down all the information related to a flight into different videos so that it's easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel. Before this I have uploaded videos related to this plane in which I have shown you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly this plane on autopilot and how to perform ILS approach and landing. Now this video is related to RNP or RNAV approach. Uh, when you talk about approaches, uh, there are basically two types, a precision approach and a non-precision approach. So ILS as it uh, uses a ground-based uh, navigation device, which is a localizer. So that's why it's a precision uh, approach, but RNAV and VR are non-precision approach. So in RNAV, you just use uh, uh, the built-in GPS capabilities of your plane in order to fly the approach. Um, it is also known as the RNP approach, which stands for uh, Required Navigational Precision and uh, RNAV stands for Area Navigation. So when you're carrying out GPS navigation, it's actually RNAV. And uh, RNAV um, has uh, a preciser version, which is known as the RNP. These are basically interchangeable terms and uh, RNP actually emphasizes more on the precision of the GPS equipment. So uh, today I will be doing this uh, short flight from um, Dubai to Abu Dhabi. So I haven't selected the departure and the arrival. So let's do that. And I will also go to the FMS because I have to select the flight plan. So let's uh, load the flight plan. I have actually made it over there in the Microsoft flight planner. So if you're not really familiar with that process, I will give you the link in the description. You can just go and watch that video. Now for uh, Dubai, I will be taking off from runway 30 left and uh, this is the departure. So let's uh, make the flight plan OMDB. Enter and uh, the destination is OMAA for Abu Dhabi and enter. Now I will go to procedure and for the departure, I will select EMER2F and uh, this is the one runway 30 lift that's it and I will load it and uh, now I'm skipping all the waypoints um, I can do that but uh, there is no need because it's a short flight uh, but I have already uploaded another video on my channel in which I've told you how to enter uh, the waypoints over here so that's why uh, I'm not covering this topic over here I will give you the link in the description so for Abu Dhabi now uh, procedure I'm not uh, going through any arrival procedure. I will just simply go for the approach. And instead of ILS, I will select RNAV. So it will be RNAV Z31 left, LNAV and VNAV. And uh, the vectors or uh, ITRIN or the PGM, which one will be the initial approach fix. So let's uh, have a look at the approach plate for runway 31 left as I think I've selected 31 left yes so transition will be itwin or pegum so this is rnpz 31 left now if you look at the flight plan it has two uh, initial approach fixes actually initial approach fix um, is a point where the arrival ends and the approach starts so for this runway, there are two actually um, initial approach fixes, Itrin and Pegum. If you're coming from this part of the world, then you are selecting Pegum. And if you're coming from this part of the world, then you are selecting Itrin. So uh, Pegum will be the point, initial approach fix, and simply load it. Now this flight plan is there, as you can see over here in the map. So now I will just uh, take off and uh, I will be flying at 10,000 feet. This is the altitude that I have. And now once I am near uh, Abu Dhabi, then I will just take you from there. Now the plane is uh, near the top of descent. So let's uh, start to descend. Now you can see at this point, Lubeck, uh, the plane should be at 3,000 feet. It's uh, indicated as per the flight plan that I have entered. So uh, as you can see over here in the magenta color, 3000 is also shown. So this is the altitude to which I should descend. So let's uh, 
Activate VNAV and reduce the altitude. Now with the VNAV, uh, the speed will remain the same and the plane will actually start to descend. So for the RNP approach, uh, you have to make sure that uh, you are not deviated from the vertical path the plane descends because um, at the final approach fix, as over here mentioned, uh, the final approach fix, uh, you should be at 3000 feet and this is like around about 9.6 nautical miles before the runway. So you have to be at this altitude and the plane has to follow this uh, vertical path. As you can see, uh, this uh, indicator is shown over here which means that the plane is following it. If this uh, is above uh, this center line, then it means you're below the vertical profile, which is like, okay, because at some time, this will uh, come in the middle. But, but uh, if it's below, then it's an issue. You are higher than the profile. Now, if you look at the screens, you will see that the required uh, vertical speed or the vertical path is 623 feet per minute. Right now the plane is at 600 feet and uh, there is little a rather negligible uh, deviation from the vertical path. So the plane is actually following it. Now just make sure that uh, you don't deviate from this vertical path during the descent. Now let's wait for the plane to actually reach uh, this point Pegum uh, because the plane should be at uh, 4000 feet at this point as it's mentioned over here and uh, maximum speed 210 knots already it's 200 knots so the speed is not an issue uh, but we have to keep an eye on the altitude now the plane is uh, near Pegum and uh, soon it will be turning right heading 306 degrees and uh, you can see uh, that uh, the plane is following the vertical path Let's uh, zoom in over here. That's good. Now, uh, one of the few things I just uh, want to show you in the approach plate. Now you can see that uh, at 9.6 nautical miles away from the runway, the altitude should be 3000 and uh, then uh, 9 nautical miles away. 2820 and so on and so forth. So now um, the plane's GPS system actually knows that um, what is the distance from the runway and at what altitude the plane should be. So according to that the glide path is calculated. So the flight management guidance system does this calculation and it calculates the vertical path. So that's how this uh, approach is flown. So that's why you require a high level of precision from the GPS because if it's not precise then it might not be aligned with the runway or you might uh, miss the glide path. So that's uh, the catch in this approach. But uh, this theory is applicable in the real life. In the simulation you're always getting good signals uh, for the GPS so that's why you really don't have to worry about the precision. It's always precise. Now um, if you look at the, this uh, table over here it is for the minimums. So I will just enter the minimums and it will be entered in barrel, uh, not in uh, terms of radio uh, because uh, when you are turning actually uh, radio on, the plane sends radio signals to the ground and gets the altitude. Uh, but for the barrel, uh, it uses the barometric pressure uh, to get uh, the altitude. So that's why uh, for this uh, RNB or RNAV approach, there is always uh, minimums in the barrel. As you can see, it's 420 feet above the ground. So this is the point uh, where you will decide whether you want to go with the landing or not. And just press enter and now you will see barrow minimums 420 feet. So now um, as you can see there are two um, categories LNAV and then you have LNAV and VNAV. So LNAV is lateral navigation. So if you are just only carrying out lateral navigation uh, with this uh, plane and uh, uh, for this uh, descent you're actually doing it yourself you are setting the vertical speed uh, for the descent or you're controlling the speed so yeah then you're using this minimum but even if you are uh, the descent rate is also calculated and carried out by the autopilot 
then you go with the L nav and V nav. Now as I'm near the runway, you can see this diamond is moving in the middle. This is actually for the glide path as per this table. So I can press approach and now the plane will actually start to follow this diamond. So I'm not now descending on uh, the V nav. As you can see over here in this uh, part of the PFD, which is the flight mode in the theater, the plane is fact, uh, actually following the glide path, not uh, the vertical navigation. And that's it. Now, in terms of radio, the altitude is also shown 2,400 feet above the ground. Uh, the runway elevation is 83 feet above the sea level. So that's why there's a big difference. And uh, that's it. So now the plane will keep on uh, descending. What I can do is this, I can just reduce the speed. And uh, for this uh, plane, if you look at over here, instead of FMS, I will go with the manual speed and I will now reduce it to 100 knots. So now the plane is going towards the runway and the distance is uh, 5 nautical miles. I can uh, now lower the gears. That's it. The gears also provide drag, so that's why the speed will reduce. I can get rid of this approach plate. Or maybe um, I can just keep it here. So. You can see the plane is actually following this path. The transition altitude is 13,000 feet. Let me press comma and adjust it. The altimeter, just make sure you're having the right altimeter readings because then the plane will actually follow this uh, glide path correctly. As I never went uh, above 10,000 feet, so that's why I didn't change it to standard. That's it. I think you can get rid of it low visibility today and I can also extend the flaps I will uh, keep the flaps over here I can reduce the speed also let's keep it at you cannot go below 85 knots so this is actually the limit so I can keep it at 90 that's it if I go want to go with the full flaps, oh, you always get this air flap ice. So maybe you can just ignore it, but because I want the flaps, full flaps for the landing. Still, I cannot see the runway. Yes, here it is. <laughs> now you can see that autopilot is automatically carrying out the lateral and the vertical navigation. 500. And um, just 500 feet above the ground. Maybe I can just now turn on the turn off the autopilot and uh, try to land the plane myself. So Minimum. auto throttle is also disengaged. Autopilot is disengaged. That's it. I hope it's uh, going to be a good landing. Very little wind, which is a good sign. And that's it. Just drifted away <laughs> towards the left side. Anyhow, 
So that's how you carry out uh, uh, the RNP or the RNAV approach with this uh, Vision Jet G2. If you have um, any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.